Hey, my name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor, and I'm here with my sister-in-law, Dorothea. Hi, Dorothea. Hi. Thank you so much for letting us come into your home. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. She's really a private person, and so this really was <laughs> something that she did because she loved me. Right? Right. Well, um, we're here because we're going to look in Dorothy's closet. Now, in case you don't know, um, we've been, I've been doing a series on clothing. And the reason that I'm doing it is because I had so many emails and um, private messages from women that just didn't know. They, they, some of them said, um, what's a capsule wardrobe? I heard about capsule wardrobes. Um, I have too much stuff. I don't have enough room for things. I don't know how to shop. I don't know what to get. People were posting in our private group all of these um, like suggestions from people. Like there's a woman who does Project 333, and that's a, somebody that only has 33 items of clothing, only 33, including earrings, including jewelry. And then there were other things like, you know those people that say, this is what you need. One blouse, three sh shorts, four pair of pants, yeah. six leggings, right? Yeah. So I thought to myself, instead of me punching out another one of those, you know, like advice things that actually nobody really can do, I thought it would be a lot more fun and practical to go and visit people that are real people. Dorothy is a real person. Yeah, real person. And she's extremely gifted in organization. And um, we have all different varieties of people that we're visiting. So it'll be a lot more practical. And then you can take a look at and see, well, what inspires me the most? You can see what works. You can see what doesn't work. And then you can make a real decision about the clothes that you want to keep, you want to get rid of, and what your style is going to be. And so we're going to look in Dorothea's closet right now. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I love how Dorothy shops. I love her style. So here we go. Okay, so this is your closet. On this side is your summer, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. on the other side is your winter. Yeah. So you have both se all four seasons in your bedroom. Yeah. In the closets and in the dresser. Right. Okay. Because my husband is not in this room. Right. Your His husband clothes. is in a different room. Right. Okay. All right. So let's talk about it. What do you got going on? It's to me. This is too tight. Mm -hmm. This is kind of new stuff, which I really shouldn't be buying new stuff, but right. every once in a while you have to buy something new. Uh-huh. Okay, so these are shorts and shorts and pants and things. Uh-huh. And then we kind of try to be color. Right. So you start out here with sleeveless lights and darks. Okay. And then a sleeve, mm -hmm. lights into dark. Mm-hmm. And then colors, which I have very little color. Right. But I have a little, this is as far as the color I go. Mm hmm And then back here is like um, a little summer dress maybe or a cover-up for a bathing suit. Okay. Okay. So what you don't wear as often is on the back end? Yeah. I got it. This is kind of like what, this is all bathing suits? Mm-hmm. This is, um longer pants maybe workout pants right this is kind of everyday-ish uh -huh. stuff here this is actually my summer bedspread that's going to go on once i change my room because i like to change a lot right <laughs> here's summer sneakers now let me just say that when you do change and you're done with something you get rid of it you ask does anybody want this yeah and, and you get rid not, of it and it you goes get a in new the bag one. And if it, you're going to yeah. keep it for the next season, yeah. you just save it for the next season. Yeah. You do not keep what you aren't using again, well, ever. Well, I, I try very hard to do that. Okay, well, from my because, experience, you well, don't. Because this is, if you remember, these are sneakers that I bought a very, very, very long time ago. I can't part with them. Okay, why? I love why? Look because they're comfortable. Oh. And look. Right, a right. very long time ago. Uh -huh. So as you can see, I don't wear stuff out. But you are still very selective. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And as far as comforters go, if you already got one for the next season, you don't keep the old one. Right. That's and what now, I meant. Well, now, because now I switched, it's another subject, right. from comforters to bedspreads because no dust ruffle. So much easier oh, to make I know, your bed. I, I know. Okay. All right, so now... Let summer. Me, summer, that's the summer. And 
How many oh, pairs of shoes do you have? I want to know how many. You ha No, you don't have to actually count them. But like, all right, here, we're going to just do this. It's See, these are her summer shoes. And I was here recently, and I did a video that I cannot find. And all of those. We, got, we, rid we got rid of. of a big leaf and lawn garbage bag of shoes and boots that were both season. Mm -hmm. So those are your summer. Yep. Okay. Now... We're going to go to the other side of the closet. Love the light in there. Me too. And so here you can see right here how the closet is. There are double doors. Um, it's an entire wall. Dun, 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 dun. And this is your winter. Well, this is winter tr and transition. Right, right, right. So because some of these things are... Springish, Lightweight, right? Mm -hmm. Springish, fallish. Yeah, yeah. So they're kind of in between. Yeah, here in Jersey, it's kind of like two seasons, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tops, undershirts, because I like wearing layers. Uh huh. Sweats, pants. Yep. More sweats. Mm hmm. This is kind of a, a, a Mishkulanza, if you want to know what that is. It's like a mix up kind of thing. Mm hmm. There's velour. And but it's really winter. Right. All the way back there mm -hmm. are what I call wedding clothes right. and dressy clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, like because you, you don't wear them that often. No. Right. And the shelves, I probably could do a better job because they're sweaters, and I found that I didn't wear a lot of a lot. I gained a few pants, so I didn't wear a lot of sweaters because they were a little clingy. Right. All the way to the right here is a little bit, you see, a lot of black. Mm -hmm. But all the way to the right here is a little bit dressier. Right. And some in-between jackets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, you know. That you don't wear that often, right, but so right. you put them on the sides. And so winter shoes, and all the way to the left are winter boots, and all the way in the back, 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 are dressy, dressy are shoes. Are dressy shoes, right, 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 that you wear to a wedding. Uh -huh. So, all right, let's see, questions. <laughs> When you go and purchase new things, mm -hmm. do you ask yourself, what do I need to get rid of to bring this in the house ever? Like, do you, when, how do you decide that it's time to get rid of some? It's a hard question. But you obviously because, do it. Uh, well, I, in my opinion, I know you don't agree with me, I don't do it enough. Mm -hmm. Lately, cool. it's been how it fits because I'm 65 years old. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not the same shape I was in when I was 50. Right. So those 15 years, uh, I want to say, uh -huh. I got rid of a lot of stuff that didn't fit me the way it used to. Right. And you still had some things for quite a while because they were wonderful quality. Right. I still have stuff classic. that I wore when I was 50 that still do fit me. Right, right. Because of the the kind of clothes I buy. Mm -hmm. No, here, wait, let me stop this one second. Right. So this is a shirt that Dorothy's telling me about right now because I told her that you don't know how much people have. They have things from 15 years, but that means that they have 15 years worth of clothes. You don't have 15 years worth of clothes, like everything you've owned for 15 no. years. No, you You're very choosy Selective. at what you keep. Yeah. Yes. So Let's this see. is something that I bought five years ago. Right. Probably about five, maybe more. In Florida at a flea market. It mm -hmm. was a little pricey, mm -hmm. but look at how cute it is. Mm -hmm. It has that cold shoulder. Right. And I have worn it dressed up, right. dressed down. Uh -huh. I wore it to Katie Shower. Mm -hmm. I wore it to under a black suit when Dana got married in City Hall. And so I needed to wear something that. It was freezing out, so mm -hmm. I have like a black wool suit, which I'll never get rid of. Uh -huh. It's Adrian Vitadini, which is where Catherine worked 20 uh -huh. years ago, uh -huh. and I wore this under it. Uh -huh. So when I, we got to the restaurant, I took the jacket off, and this was a little festive because yeah, the shoulder yeah. was out, right. and, but this is never going to go out of style. Right. And I love this cold shoulder. Mm -hmm. That might go out of style, but I don't care because I love it. Because you love it, right. Okay. Okay, so the purpose of these videos is to help people to see what other people have in their closet, how they manage it, 
And in this case, I think you manage it beautifully. Um, like I said, Dorothea is organizationally gifted and she will never have more than will make her uncomfortable. Now it might be that you have a hard time letting go of things sometimes, right? See, that's a normal thing. We think that there's something wrong with us because we can't let go of things. It's normal. When I keep something that I love, uh -huh. I definitely wear it a lot. Right. You know, uh -huh. like that black suit. Mm -hmm. Right. To every funeral you've ever, <laughs> I've gone, ever to. gone to. And other things that you keep that you don't wear very often, how long did you allow them to hang around in your closet? A very long time. A very I, long I, time. I can't I can't put a, a year time or months or it's probably years. Things that I really just can't throw out. Okay, but there is a lot that you can, because let me tell you, I am the reciprocator <laughs> of a lot of Dorothea's stuff. So, I mean, just recently we did a whole bunch of shoes, a lot, a lot of shoes. Oh, Chrissy took a couple of shoes, oh, by good. FYI. Good. Um, and, you know, I took some, my sister took, oh my God, she's like insane for those boots. Yeah. Remember those boots? Yeah. So you do have things and you say, I'm done with them. I'm done. It's time oh, yeah, to get something yeah. else. You when, do that. When I am done. I'm done. I can't think about where they went, who's got, well, I love, 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 love that one of you has mm -hmm, them. Right. And even sometimes I'll see something on one of you and, and be say, so happy. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it isn't like you don't want to get rid of things because you really, really do on a regular basis. It's really just those things that you love that gives you a hard time. Like pajamas. Like pajamas. <laughs> that's funny. All right. So I guess that's that. Thank you so, so much You're for letting so, us so in your welcome. world. I love how you have both, all of four seasons in this room and how you manage it so that it's right for you. And even though you feel like it's a little bit too much, it's still right for you. Right? And that's all that matters. All right. Okay, so I'm Kathy Roberts. I'm the Tidy Tutor. If you like this video, please like it. You'll see that you can get the rest of these videos in a series. You have to put in your name and email, and then you'll have all of these um, videos that I'm doing on the pack rat, the women, and the wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, you know, to me, pajamas could be... A really nice black cotton t-shirt mm -hmm. to go with really nice black cotton because it feels good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily look frilly. No, I'm no, you don't want frilly. that. And I'm not talking about expensive either. Just something no. that is not ratty. Like a like a a cotton t-shirt in the men's department in colds for like three dollars. Uh -huh, you you... Hey, my wait. Hey, my name. Oh. <laughs> Alright, ready one more time. <clears throat> Take 17. Stop. Action! <laughs> <laughs> you got bugs called a bug eye. You cook bacon apple pie. If you show your picture, tear clean or clean my underwear. These are the things we do. Pretty good, mm -hmm. don't you?